Phil Halls and Roman Delize fighting at middleweight. This is an interesting fight. Now, I'm, I'm gonna just flat out start it off and say this. Every now and then, Phil Halls can be a little bit chinny. Like, it, it is so random, man, because he'll be doing good, you'll be high on him, and you'll be like, okay, cool, let's go to the next level. And then he'll get knocked out by somebody that he was supposed to beat. No, worse than that, he'll be winning the fight and getting knocked out. Because there was a couple guys, man, like when he fought uh, Julian Marquez, Chris Curtis. He, he was winning the fight the first round, and then the second round, he got knocked out. But I can't really count that fight against him because that was early on in his career. Yeah, that was, that was a long time. And that was a big step up in competition, man. He just wasn't ready for that. I didn't, oh, okay, okay. He made up for it though with his last fight though. But but I'm gonna say this. My initial thought was Phil should win this one because stylistically he can keep the fight on the, on oh, the feet. Yes. And obviously he can do whatever he wanna do to Roman Delice. But the, Roman is very tough. And Roman is the type of guy who can stay in the fight long enough to Phil to make a mistake. And mm, then- Like he, Chris Curtis. And then he'll, he'll mess around and knock out Phil. He might not be as explosive with the stand-up and he might not be as dangerous with the stand-up, but his mentality is strong until the last second of the fight. And Phil does good, but then he's one of those people who his mentality can drop off and he can make IQ mistakes, or he can be he can get caught with something crazy out of nowhere. And also this matchup might benefit or favor Roman because he comfortable on the outside and keeping distance because he's trying to counter with knees and well, head well, kicks. Well, he, he, trying to, he trying to get in safe so he can grapple. No, he trying to grapple, but I'm saying like when it comes to striking, because yeah. sometimes the grapple cancels out. But like when it comes to striking, if you look at striking, he's okay, head kicks, knees. So he wants space. And I think it might benefit Roman because if Phil Halls can't get on the inside and he just on the outside, he might get but, caught but with something. Phil, but yeah, I can see how that would make sense. Was more than likely Phil gonna take him down, but I mean. I, I don't think, no, nah, I don't really think he can just take Roman down. I mean, I think he can, but I don't think you wanna play that grappling game because yeah. Roman, this, this is what, he, what he does. Yeah. So you start playing a dangerous game, but that's the type of, that's the type of IQ. See, it's two different versions of Phil Halls. You you get a version of Phil that uses all the physical tools and looks really impressive. And then you got another version lazy. where lazy. it's a little bit lazy and it's like something is something, I don't know, like the screws ain't all the way on tight. And then like there are lapses in judgment to where he'll lose to people that he's supposed to beat. But maybe maybe underestimate those guys. It's easy to underestimate guys, man, because we can say what we, we can say what we want to about Chris Curtis now, but at one point it was almost like, yeah, like it's how long is Chris gonna be in the UFC? When he first came to the UFC, it was like, but that yeah. was a short notice fight. Remember that was yeah. the first one. Yeah, he's on the terror now, but at first people was like doubting Chris Curtis. I think that's why he fight the way he do now. But the the thing is, but, but Roman only has three submissions. But one thing I noticed that Roman, he does have a lot of fights where he was kind of holding his opponent down. And, That's you know, what I'm saying. And that, that wins fights, though. Yeah, but I'm saying not against Phil, though. You can't do that against Phil. We don't know because I'm saying yeah. sometimes Phil make these Listen. lapses in judgment decisions to where things that on paper shouldn't happen will happen. And we're like, yeah. Phil, why? Like, how many times do we have those head scratching things? It's almost like the Melvin Gillard thing. Like, how did you lose that fight? And, and and I've seen that happen a few times with Phil, and I, sometimes I don't know what I'm gonna get. Like, even if Roman is gonna lose, I can, I can kind of see how he's gonna lose. Like, I'm... I think it's mental with Phil, man. He's he's used to hurting opponents and getting them out, and getting them out of there fast. And if they don't if you fall, notice, dude, like, if, like, within the first half of the first round, you can tell, like, if Phil gonna win the fight or not. Because, like, if they still in there, like, because when he fought Duran, Duran was out of there. Like mentally, because he was like, oh, he was overwhelmed by Phil. But I don't think Roman will crack like that, though. I, I just don't see Roman cracking like that. I feel like yeah. even if, because it it should be expected that Phil will have the advantage standing up. Yeah. And Roman knows that. But the, the thing is, Roman don't have the prettiest striking, and it ain't the most effective. But he just applies constant pressure, and he like to get in people's head, too. If you notice in his fights, he'll, he'll just like doing random little gestures and like talking. And doing stuff and i can see that kind of yeah. getting to feel truthfully man i think the biggest issue with phil halls is i hate that he throws a lot of volume but he don't land a lot of it too he need to slow things down a little bit be like okay one two jab jab if you notice he does like a lot of flurry of punches more and calculated you're not landing none of those punches they're blocking all your strikes like man. stop trying to look like an athlete and try yeah. to like be a winner and we've seen him go on these win streaks but we've seen that he get to a certain level and then 
it's like you lose. And I can see Roman winning this fight, even though I don't think Roman has the tools. I don't even think Roman got the style. But you know what? I think he got the mentality to keep the fight. Remember how Joe Lozon beat uh, Melvin Gillard? Yeah. And obviously, Roman is much bigger and stronger than Joe Lozon, like just relatively speaking. But I, but I would compare Phil to Melvin Gillard, you know. So even though I don't think Roman has that type of uh, submission acumen like a Joe Lozon, he can keep he can keep a lot of pressure on Phil and break him for three rounds or at least two rounds. But ultimately, again, on paper, I'm going to final. I'm going to pick for my final pick. Yeah. I'm going with Phil Halls based on paper. I'm going based on paper, but I think that sometimes the lights get too bright for Phil. And one thing, another thing with Phil Halls is, if you go back and look at that Nasruddin fight, he didn't win him. He didn't win that fight, man. Nasruddin, he won a decision. He won a majority decision over Nasruddin. He kept on taking him down, but on the feet, he was getting pieced apart. He clearly didn't win this fight, but, but just, we ain't got to worry about Roman doing that though. But Roman, I think Roman can look at that fight and say, "Hey, Roman can't replicate the striking of no Nasruddin." Yeah, you're right. That's not even. But but one of them smooth like yeah, butter, and the other person rougher than uh mountain rocks. Ain't no problem. Yeah, true. <laughs> but man, but I, but Phil knocked out like Jacob, uh, Macoon. Oh, what and the super boring dude. Yeah, but the super durable. Yeah. So it's like, bro, bro. Phil knocked out a lot of people who never been knocked out before too. It was 18 seconds too. But if he, but feel he, if he slowed, I think he can win if he slowed things down. Cause I can see him like not gassing out after the first round, but I can see him slowing down and then losing the second and third round. Yeah. But he got to slow things down and, and, and not just throw a hundred strikes in the first round and, and then miss get all gassed of them. out or get discouraged because the person didn't go down. But if he land them elbows like he did against the run though, the fight might not last. The run striking is very, I mean, that was like a, I mean, it was like a human, amateur. It was like a human punching bag. That was a that was a give me fight right there. And Roman is not that type of person. And Roman's starting to kind of feel himself a little bit because now he got the, the knockout win. Oh yeah, you know. So I, I can see I can see Roman, uh, you know, pulling this. Man, why wow, he got a lot of canceled fights here? Who is that? Uh, Roman. A lot of interesting canceled fights here. Oh, he last year. That's interesting. But he only got one loss to, to Trevor and Giles, man. And now, I'm gonna be real. Uh, like if you look at the field and strikes, better, uh, it looked like it looked like Roman beat Trevin. I hate to say it, no, man. but Trevin dropped him though. That's the difference. Oh yeah, uh, Trevin was dropping him with his punches though. That was a major difference. Uh, I I'm gonna go with now looking at it, man. You lost to Trevin, Trevin Giles. Yeah, but that's when Trevin was on one though. Remember he was. On I'm that. saying you can't beat Phil Halls if you can't beat Trevin. That's and I was looking at that and I'm like, yeah. But again, I'm saying on paper. Yeah, yeah. So I'm going with Phil Halls, man, just because we know what Roman needs to do to get the fight. You know, he can he can do well enough. He can hang with you on the on the feet long enough. Sometimes Roman get into this thing where he'll kind of follow what his opponent's doing because he can't really run away with the striking. But you can't really get your grappling going without closing the distance with the striking. Yeah. And that kind of hurts him sometimes. So I think that could play into Phil's favor. Again, though, if Roman grab you, even if he don't submit you, the pressure alone, man, it's it's as good as done at that point, man. Because he can he can work you on the clinch and tire you out. He ain't got to get the takedown. He can just work you up against the clinch, man, and, and kind of take you into deep waters. Obviously, he gets you to the ground. Not a super submission threat in the UFC level, but the grappling heavy, you know, you can win decisions. I'm going to pick Phil Halls, though. I don't, I don't necessarily know if I'm going to pick it by knockout. Wouldn't it be crazy? This would be extremely impressive if Phil knock out Roman, say, like, in, like, a minute. But you know what? I think Roman got a chance to knock him out, too. Just because some of the some of the decisions. If he can get out the first round. If he can get out the first round. If he if Roman can get out the first round, I wouldn't put a submission or a decision or a knockout past him. I'm going to tell you that. And actually, I'm glad you said that. If this fight, after the first round, I wouldn't be surprised if uh, Roman do whatever he want to do. Yeah, because if, if Phil can't win that first round, dang near 10-8. <laughs> like, and sometimes he can put himself in harm's way when he walks forward. And if he's fighting against somebody who can throw an elbow or catch him coming in, maybe oh. Phil, Phil, sometimes he walks forward. Like, he can only, I'm not going to say he can only fight on the inside, but he's more comfortable on the inside. And fighters like that, like, they hit the Lombards. They only can fight going forward. A lot of times, like, you can counter them, too. Because, like, his rhythm, like, he has a certain rhythm. He's not, okay, he's not unpredictable. He's predictable. 
So like maybe Phil might run to something, but I don't think Roman has the hand speed nah. to capitalize on he that. Ain't got to, he ain't got to strike him. Uh, really. That's why I said he got to make it out the first round because then yeah. cardio comes into play. You yeah. start making like not so good decisions because you're tired. And so then that could that could work for Roman. But ultimately I'm picking Phil and- uh, Phil by what? I mean, it can't be it can't be second or third round knockouts. Cause, yeah, I think that's get wrong too much of advantage. Not in the early second round. I mean, I'm gonna say decision, man. I'm gonna, say, I'm gonna just pick a safe bet and go decision. Because even if he win, that'll be you know that'll just be good enough. Just, he just lost a grapple. You no, know, that wasn't just. But in between, Chris who was that? The run, it was a grappling match. They put the grappling joints on here. Oh, that's so Phil. I mean, oh, he lost to. Oh, that's the dude who submitted. Uh, Nick uh, Maximal, yeah, hey, he, that dude dangerous, man. So I don't know, man. So I'm gonna pick, but I'm gonna pick Phil. I say Phil by second round TKO early on in second round. He got it. Got to be early though.